And yeah, this is a very hype matchup. Quincy Crew versus EG, both undefeated in the DPC. It's a little bit concerning if you're picking it just for that. Up you are. All right, he's melded, but will eventually be brought down by Nightfall. And again, Paponlo went two points in Netherward now, so I don't think these Decrepify situations oh, will be getting any better. He's going to try to TP out, but he will die mid-TP, which means he's going to have to make the Walk of Shame, and Yoar not off to a very good start this game as a result. That is the worst death you can have, this kind of death as a carry. Yes. You die after TPing. Because now when he respawns, how long does it take to run to the towers? Like 30 seconds, I think. So he's going to lose another full wave. Made his way down here, but the heals from Jerax. Not sure that's going to be enough to stay alive. Oil is put down. He's not going to walk through it quite yet. Nightfall coming to try to force Quinn away. The heal's keeping Jerax alive. And it doesn't look like Quinn's going to get anything out of this. In fact, he might even die. He does! And the lawn will be denying the rune at the very least as Abed. Getting some damage in before he goes, although it might be coming over with crit. Toss is available. Yoar on the high ground with the meld. They're going to try to turn this around onto Abed, and they oh. do. So a great turnaround for Quincy Crew. They set that up beautifully. Going to try to pressure this tier one and force Quinn out. Oh, and doesn't have a loser orb for another second. Going to get hit by the plasma field. There's the orb. Should be fine now. Wait, the slide of his into the toss. My goodness, Quinn, very unlucky, oh, just Kezu enough damage. Oh, by one creep. Kezu wanted the, the duel. I don't even know if he had enough damage, though. Uh, at, at least Quincy have oh. kind of... Okay. He's going to break the coil, and Nightfall oh, looks like fine. he's just going to run away the old-fashioned way. In fact, he's going to turn this around with Jerax and Tiny coming in as Quinn. Getting static length, illusory orbs to the other side, but that's into the arms of Crit with that avalanche. And you do have the control between yourself, Tiny, and Ember to get the job done. Even against saves, it's still possible, uh, so. Mud Golem's Revenge, Milan is gonna get stunned several times and is going to drop shortly. Nice blocks as well. It pops the Fairy Fire, but Abed's just gonna take, wait, okay. <laughs> that was a very long way. I think that was up for a full second before he used it. Uh, Abed with the taunt here, you know, he could have killed him yeah. at any point here. He's just chilling. Yeah, it's up. It is still up. It's just waiting. Oh, All right. right. <laughs> As we uh, we missed the first dual victory of the game, uh, Milan technically gets credit for that kill, but Kezu will take the damage nonetheless, and it looks like they're going to get a second kill on top of that. So I'm sure Milan's face is looking just... I mean, maybe that was a premonition of things to come. What in the world? I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> Quincy get a crew. tux tattooed on your chest and then you can play naked. Quincy Crew is looking for an org. Perhaps Snuggy is on the list of potential uh, oh. companies that they reach out to. As Yawar getting initiated on by Nightfall. No Disruption will stay for toast. now, but he's melded, decrept. He's not Plasma toast. Field does not finish him off, and Pamela is just going to heal him up to a respectable amount. And now we have the duel inside of the coil. Is this going to be enough to get the damage? It does for Kezubi. Die shortly after. Still one for one. Quincy Crew will take this every single time. And this is while EG was taking Roche, or trying to at least. It'll mm -hmm. ramp up a little faster. Oh. All right, we got the Decrep into the life drain. Surprise from Ponlo, but Jer actually just going to walk it off. Meanwhile, Yoar, uh-oh, that's an Avatos back into the static link again. Ponlo trying to heal him from afar, but he's going to get blown up shortly after, and Yoar will end up dying too. And now EG on the chase, but a blink out as Milan might be the third member of Quincy Crew to fall to his grave. Double kill for Nightfall and into the Roche pit, I assume they go. I think EG correctly identified, hey, if we see the Tia and we go on her, we just feel like we're going to win. Uh, Nightfall is flat out just drawn to this TA every single fight, gets the link off. Pretty hard to kill in uh, general. On low. Yep, he shows himself, RTZ, Chaos Strike, Reality Rift. The crits here. And yeah. one crit. Aside from, you know, obvious like skirmishes where you find a pick here or there, if it does get to a fighting stage. Oh. Crit ends up getting the Avatos correctly. Searing Chains holds Quinn in place. Attempting to get out. He's going to lose your orb again, but it's just too much time. And RTZ, oh, he's taking the bait. He really wants a little necro action. Crit actually gets the avalanche off. Bonk. That's going to be a free support for EG. And the smoke ends up resulting in nothing. I, I mean, think he has. He does have Ogre Club, so it stands to reason that he probably has, like you said. But EG just taking all the outer towers. I find it funny you still... Uh-oh. Duel? He's not dying, though. Yeah, crit. Gets quite oh, low, no. but here comes the static link, and it looks like Kezu gets up the overwhelming odds, so it's super fast, but 
Ember has the mobility spells, and that is another death for Quincy Crew. These pro players are playing these games. They generally have a very good idea of how much they are up or behind by, mm -hmm. uh, which for Quincy Crew, you would assume that they need to take some risks here. Is Ponlo's going to die? And because I mean, we haven't really, like, they tried it once uh, a couple minutes ago, but we haven't seen a clean blink initiation from Kazu since he picked up the blink dagger into some sort of pickoff fight for Quincy Crew. There's Yawar. All right. Tries to go for Jarex, but that is a very tough kill, regardless. As looks oh, like Shadow boy. Demon's going to drop. So, EG just, again. Any lane they go to, it feels like they get a kill. They have all the map control in the world right now as Roche number two still a couple minutes away. And Quinn is going to get static linked. He yules himself. Phase shift as well. Has Blink Dagger now, but it gets canceled by the tree toss from Crit. Very good timing from him. Controlling this area, just, you know, textbook stuff. Wait for the next row. <laughs> What, what was that in response to? I don't know. What was, what was I don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter. The context, I, I need to... Okay, if, if Quincy Grand's winning this series, we need to interview Milan and ask. Because this is amazing. All right. Oh, that's a lot of damage. The Soul Catcher applied to RTZ, but oh, you see Nightfall coming into God. the base. They destroy the Pugna. Yawar getting crushed. Oh, gets the meld off and it's getting healed from afar. They don't have any vision. That was a refresher from Nightfall, so so much damage with that ult of his. Now they're going to focus on the abilities after two buybacks from Quincy. They still have one available onto Shadow Demon. Over only odds is there. And here's the duel with the Blade Mail. Who's going to win it? Disruption saves Kezu for now. But the, look at the, the TA just gets melted. Yawar, no longer alive, has no buy. Or stack the jungle. Yeah. And we'll keep on the pressure on Yawar here. Just a lot of poke. I mean, I can see like late game scenarios where this is really good, right? You got Ags on Storm, Vortex into the sharded uh, blast off from Techies. That's a pretty disgusting combo. But it feels like all the stuff that we're thinking of is Arteezy. very late game oriented. Arteezy pops the wand, will stay alive as a result. And Milan getting chased now. And it looks like that's going to be first blood for EG. So nice turnaround for them. Yeah, they can do fine for now, but uh, it, it's mainly like, what do you do after 10 minutes, right? Like, what, where do you go with your heroes? Oh, Milan's oh, actually possibly... fire is not yeah. enough. Second death for him. Double Burrow Strike from Kezu. Should be good to go now, I would assume, with two levels of reactive armor. Yeah, totally fine. Kill. It was fine a while ago as well, but I guess Crit doesn't have... That was what I was curious about. Does he have anything better to do? Seems not oh, to be the case. Arrow inside that sandstorm. Arteezy pops the wand, but it looks like he will go down this time. And Quincy Crew able to combo their spells. Uh, so laning. I mean, it, for this game, Quincy Crew's line, we've already talked about it's more conventional. How, how important is it for them this game to get off to a good uh, start in the laning stages? Well, it's definitely important for them that Nightfall doesn't get to do this. Yeah, this is, is kind of concerning. He's level six. Very scary stuff. Crickets. A ward here, so they have vision, and that means Abe can jump in with that vortex. Yawar is dead. Ponlo is next. Double kill for Abed, and that is scary stuff. You have to be strong on Luna with stat items for that to actually be a thing. It also means Ponlo can get a ton of farms so he can recover from the early deaths that he's uh, accumulating right now. This time, Nightfall gets credit for that. But 1k advantage for EG. It's Quint. He's going to find a DP, but... Sticky Bomb will connect as the blast off is there as well. He's back in human form and now Nightfall in the area. Nice dodge onto the Whirling. No, it doesn't matter, he's dead. There's too much mobility for him to get away. How big are the boxes for some heroes compared to others? I know like the collision sizes are pretty similar, right? I mean, they're all similar, but as Kezu getting found out here, gets the Burrow Strike onto two, but Looks like the Spirit Siphon and Timber Chain are enough. It doesn't require you to alt-tab out of a cast and Google it as Quinn getting chased. He's in the enemy jungle. They're looking for a high five. Arrow goes in and connects, but I think Quinn is very, very dead. It begs the question, what is he doing there, actually? That's a lot of pressure. I'm sure we got that. So what you missed was a death on... I saw a Dragonite Quincy get killed. Crow. Well, now I'm going to see Jarex get killed. Yep, the arrow's there. Lucent Beam, he's still pretty healthy, though. Gets up to Spirit Siphon. There's no way he just gets away from right? Yeah, Spirit Siphoning some creeps. Kezu's here, though, and Dragon Tail. 
So a kill going the way of Quincy now. Yeah, First Quint off. in dragon form. Crit is found out, and the dragon tail will connect as a result. And Crit is donezo. Credit goes to Quinn. He has a very, very tough kill. Abed's going to show in the bot lane. Quinn gets in with that blink. Dragon tail combo. Burrow strike to fall. But there's the silence from Crit. The blast off. That is a very long one. And this was a bait again. EG get two. And actually using the TP on Quinn as well. Could be a good item here. Hey, Jarek's Yawar. getting eyes on your work. Indeed. Pops the exorcism. Milana's in the area, though. Mystery there from Ponlo. We're going to try to turn this around. And yeah, Jarex uses the exorcism and dies shortly after. Nightfall, in the meantime, comes in despite being a 1v3, does not care. A nice family holding hands like four heroes at the Ancient Stack, which I can understand. Jarex is a bit surprised by because it's not particularly efficient. Uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, boy. Yeah, you are. Oh. Still silenced with that blast off. If that connects, even though they don't have the setup, it's still brutal without having a Manta or something like that to dispel. Yeah. And Kazu is going to be found out here. He gets off the Burrow Strike onto the low ground. Looks like he'll be fine. Ponlo getting chased as well as Jarex has already respawned. But EG just very slowly but surely getting that pillow out ready to go. Cinder and Abed. Nice dodge. It's off the Vortex. Ponlo's here, though. There is the arrow combo. Is this enough damage this time? Indeed. Big kill for Quincy Crew. And Quinn, will he get out? No. Last off, still enough damage to take out the Dragon Knight. And Ponlo gets bursted from 100 to 0, essentially, as Nightfall just having himself a game. Quincy being too congregated around the bottom half, you could just go for it with DP plus Terrorblade. Boom! There's the shard. Yep, that is a stun now. Oh and God. Nightfall, pure damage, rips through these heroes. We dodged here. But they are positioning themselves this to actually try get to close, take this. Actually. Yeah, GG. You have to be careful, crit. Oh, good silence. Okay, silence onto Kezu. He can't get his Burrow Strike off as a result. He Finally does so, though, as he snatches the Aegis. Nicely done from Quincy Crew, but Quinn getting dropped very fast. Goes down to crit. Talking about the highest damage in the game, not disappointing here. Ponlo has to back up. Looks like Yawar is the one that has to be careful as Nightfall casually takes him out with a whirling death. So, yeah, it's something for Quincy, but again, a lot to be desired in this game in terms of like their ability to take initiative and being the ones setting the oh, tempo. Quinn. Finally now. Link Dragon Tail with the fireball arrows there as well. So this is going to be a kill on the DP. It is a support, but here's the counteract from Crit. Comes in with a beautiful stun onto two with the follow-up from Abed. That is two dead for Quincy Crew right off the bat. Great defense from EG, and they'll find a third on top. For the most part, the way they set up their techies is just Either Jerax runs in and baits a response and then they use it as a counter gauge, or they do it with the timber sauce low from Chakram or just a vortex. They don't oh, need that be much. A big, big kill. He Arrows after the thunder gets oh! off just at the last moment. Abed, Abed oh, with the BKB. I think he absorbed that. Yeah, he the arrow he jumped into the arrow. Double kill for Abed, and there's the oh. stun again. That was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this this can't be during the game, surely. <laughs> Dude, I love Milan. Like could be your mom walking into the and room, it, yeah. giving you a sandwich, any any moral support. You know, it's Quinn. Boom. Yep. Blast Bum. off. Boom. And dead. Now, and you know what? I was about to say, all the haters that say EG always pick the same stuff, look at them picking techies, and then I realized they have Terrorblade Storm. But yes. on the support position in this game, they're yes. trying something new, and it's working. Death Prophet techies. Yeah, that's good stuff. It is working. Bonlo wants to get some illusions of Mr. Arteezy. But of course, Nightfall can clean that up pretty easily. Kezu gets in there with the Epicenter. They're going to follow up with the Lucent Beam Eclipse combo, but the BKBs and Sunder, Arteezy and company, are just way too strong right now. Too late on the Dragon Tail. Kezu went in a little bit too early, and when Quinn blinks into Dragon Tail, the BKB on Arteezy is already off. And he Sunders, and essentially you just killed your own Dragon Knight with that go. Yeah. And this game, I mean, I'll gladly admit it, I was I was expecting EG to perhaps just be the better team, right? But I didn't think this game was going to be as stomp as the first one when I saw the draft. I, I mean, it's not a Gaben-level shellacking, but it is a shellacking. I mean, this is, I feel like this is as stompy as the first game. No way. Yeah. No, 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 no. How long was the first game? I mean, they could end it earlier and it's still not as stompy in my opinion. It was uh -huh. a drawn out, like... Yeah, it's debatable. I feel like it's basically the same game. I, I mean, it is debatable, but that's between the, the Gaben-level shellacking... And in both games, you know, Jarek's got a lot of... Oh, hang on, we're going to wait. 
here. Let's see if this breaks out into anything. It does. Yep, epicenter, burrow strike. Is this enough to take out RTG this time? Pops again. the BKB. There's the blast off from crit. And that is a dead Dragon Knight. Kezu looks to be next. Abed God. Did he do it again? Yep. Okay, I missed it that time. He I heard it you again. say it, but I, I didn't see it with my Just own like eyes. Just like Britney Spears. Here we go. All, All right. right, that's a kill on Arteezy. And GG is called...